good to be back. Hi guys, it's Ozzy Griffin here for The Sexual Futurist. You know, recently, a lot of people have uh, been talking about men's rights issues and uh, where people stand with uh, the dif disparity in the way men are treated in society as opposed to women. Um, some people are actually arguing that despite, you know, a couple of dec decades ago, you know, women having the same jobs as men was pretty much unthinkable outside of war. Well, today we're going to look at a little something that has sparked off some controversy and I hope will spark some debate in the comments section. Uh, a lot of people have talked about uh, crisis shelters and uh, homelessness. And uh, there's a lot of uh, women's crisis centres, which actually I have nothing against. Of course, a lot of people have noted that when it comes to uh, men being kicked out of the, their house, in some cases with their families, they are actually denied spots in these shelters. Now, personally, you know, if it's... A women, uh, if it's a rape crisis shelter and there's a lot of women out there uh, who maybe can't stand the sight of a man, yeah, uh, you know, I can sort of see where you're coming from. I just still don't think it's managed properly, though. To be honest, when it comes to women who've been uh, raped and molested, and yes, I regrettably do know some women who have, it's not all men that trigger those reactions in them. In fact, it's incredibly rare that it's all men that trigger uh, those incredibly negative reactions that people are trying to avoid in them. It's the sight of their rapist, or the sight of their rapist's enabler, or the, in some cases, the family that pushed you into being uh, alone, or in some incredibly rare, and yet I know about these people too, regrettable cases, stood by and watched, uh, the people who stood by and watched uh, as, as that woman was raped. These people, these people are the ones who need to be filtered out. Not all men. And once again, I am speaking from experience. All men do not evoke that reaction. Now, if there's an intimate medical procedure being involved, yeah, okay, in some cases, that makes, that changes things. Outside of that, it's incredibly rare, from my experience, to see rape victims or women who've fled an abusive home yes, sometimes with their families, react badly to all men. Anyway, those come from my own personal experiences. What I'm asking the sexual futurist community is, come in with your own. Am I wrong? Please, please cite some examples. Uh, a study would be nice. And as always, I hope this has given everybody something to think about for the future, because we'll have to live there and we'll have to deal with it. I'm Ozzy Griffin for The Sexual Futurist, and it's good to be back.